Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked in IIT JM Economics on Okno's Law. The question is like this. Consider an economy where the full employment output is given as 1 trillion rupees and natural rate of unemployment in this economy is 6%. If actual unemployment rate is 8%, then according to Okno's Law, the absolute gap between the full employment output and actual output in billion dollars will be so we have to find the number here what will be uh, the absolute gap between the full employment output and actual uh, actual output okay so the answer should be in the integer now what is the Ockner's law Ockner's law is simply it is the relationship between an economy's unemployment rate and it is GDPR, GNP, okay? And uh, what is uh, the typical relationship? So it is given by that is uh, first I will write the relationship that is y minus y hat divided by y hat is equal to minus beta times u minus u hat, okay? Now, what are these symbols? Symbols rather. So, uh, this uh, y denotes our actual output. Okay. So, it uh, is our actual. I will write actual output. Okay. This uh, y y bar denotes uh, actually it denotes our full employment output. So, we I will write here. This is our full employment output or we also call it the potential output potential output and this is also our uh, potential output here this is our Ockner's coefficient okay so I will write it Ockner's coefficient coefficient this uh, u denotes our actual unemployment rate so i will write here this is actual unemployment rate and this uh, u bar denotes our natural rate of unemployment so this is natural rate of unemployment and it actually tells us for every one percent fall in unemployment in an economy GDP uh, will rise by 2% and GNP will uh, rise by 3% so I will write here first there is uh, the negative relationship between unemployment and the level of GDP and GNP so I will write here uh, for 1% uh, fall in fall in unemployment sorry for my handwriting unemployment in an economy in uh, GDP GDP will rise by 2% uh, and G GNP by GNP by 3% I assume here uh, it is talking about our GDP now that means uh, this Ockner's coefficient here is 2% in place of beta we have 2% let me write it here this is here 2% okay this uh, y minus uh, y bar is called the uh, sorry what we call it uh, GDP gap this is also called the GDP gap so I will write here this is a GDP or output gap output gap and we have to find that very gap now coming to the question uh, full employment output is 1 trillion rupees so uh, let us see the question uh, properly but we have to give answer in billions okay that means full employment output is 1 trillion rupees so we will write in place of 1 trillion we can also write it is equal to 100 sorry 1000 billion okay that uh, it's simply a uh, thousand billion is equal to one trillion you know it very well so our actual 
output is so i will write y minus this full employment output full employment output is 1 trillion rupees in place of this i will write 100 billion okay sorry 1000 billion and here we have also this uh, potential output that is 1000 okay is equal to minus beta so i told you uh, this coefficient is 2 percent so i will write minus 2 percent okay now our uh, actual unemployment rate is which is also given is uh, given here our actual unemployment rate is given is 8 percent so i will write 8 percent minus sorry uh, natural rate of unemployment is 6 percent I hope I am making some sense here. Okay, we have to find this very gap. Now we can change the percent in decimals also. So I can write it like this: uh, y minus one thousand divided by one thousand is equal to in place of uh, minus uh, two percent. I can write minus zero point o two. Similarly, this is zero point. 08 minus 0 0.06 okay or it is simply minus 0 0.02 now 0 0.08 minus 0 0.06 is also 0 0.02 so y minus 1000 divided by 1000 is equal to this so we have y minus 1000 our 1000 is equal to now 0 0.02, 0 0.02 is equal to minus 0 0.04 or y minus 1000 is equal to we transpose this 1000 to RHS this will become minus 0 0.04 into 1000 which comes out to be now uh, 0 0.04 of 1000 is equal to so this is 10th hundred so I can write it like 4 divided by 100 into if i change this decimal uh, into fraction so these two will get cancelled for 10 is 40 so we get minus 40 here or we have to find the absolute gap the question tells us about the absolute gap so this is y minus 1000 so this symbol uh, denotes the absolute value so this is equal to minus 40 which is equal to 40 so since we have con uh, converted trillions into billions so here uh, the answer is 40 billions okay so this y minus 1000 is our uh, what we call it the output gap output gap okay so this was all about uh, the problem on the Oknazol i hope i make myself clear if you find this video helpful please share and subscribe this channel that will give me some motivation to make more useful stuff for you people thank you